Hello everyone, this is Chris with stickerfab.com. Hope you're doing all right. I know we had a little bit of a hiatus. We've been gone a little bit. Although I did get some things accomplished while we were gone that's related to stickerfab and the Bronco. Uh, one thing, we started an affiliate program. So if you like these products and you already share them already, you might as well get paid for them. Uh, just message me directly for the information about that. We have another post that kind of touches on it uh, on Instagram. Uh, that was a few days ago. Um, we're going to go right into this. What I've done is a customer requested that we do center cap overlays. So let's look at a stock one. I haven't confirmed any other vehicles, other, well, other wheels other than these. I did think I saw some center caps on other uh, Broncos that looked similar to this. Uh, approximately 2.56, like 2 and... 9 16 wait, 8, 9, yeah, 9 16 inches uh, in diameter. Uh, it has this like silvery border and then the pony in the middle. Um, so if you have a theme and that doesn't go with it, you can change it out. So this is one I installed yesterday. I would go back, reapply a little bit of heat uh, right in there. But let me show you a, a brand new install. This was the first one that I tried out as well. Uh, got some tips and tricks as usual. Um, there have been a lot of users submitted things lately. I think we're going to overlay these. Um, not only does it give it a little contrast, but if you use a brighter color, you'll be able to spot those really easily uh, at night. Uh, I am thinking about doing an overlay. Well, it'll be a little bit more involved uh, installation, but overlaying this whole mirror. You see some are paint matched, but we could easily do this part forward in uh, gloss black. I'm pretty sure about that. Basically, we'd line all this up right here and then uh, start using heat and wrap it all the way around. But let me get everything set up. I'll go grab my vinyl, my... Uh, detailing spray, my squeegee, and also I'll have to grab my wife's Dyson hair dryer because that's all I got right now. And we're going to get these installed. All right, so if you can, it's great to go through a car wash uh, really quickly before you do this install. Uh, you'll hopefully clean up these areas right in here. Um, but if you need to go ahead and clean it, I'm going to use our water bottle. Uh, these are sold on our store. Pretty much just a few drops of dish soap. You can use hand soap in a pinch and then fill it all the way up with water. We've used a little bit and that's why it's down. Normally, uh, just to clean the vehicle, I'd use a detailing spray with uh, no wax in it because we don't really want to uh, get wax on the adhesive. It, it won't aid in it sticking. Um, we use a little of this mixture on the back of our overlay and we're going to kind of try to line up the pony uh, because this is a 3D surface uh, in the middle so kind of want the pony to be on top of that once you have this even because of that soapy mix it should be able to slide around a little bit we'll dry it out a little bit with a heat source. Of course, I'm still using my wife's Dyson because I haven't gone down to uh, Harbor Freight. It's on high, but it's not burning me as long as I don't keep it on myself very long, don't keep it on the vinyl very long. We don't want that glossy uh, surface to fade because we're hitting it with too much uh, heat. Just massaging the vinyl down into all those 3D areas, three-dimensional areas. With this, the squeegee isn't the best 
because of all the uh, three-dimensional areas and because it's just a tight space. I'll try to use the edge just a little bit. Or you can just use your fingers, push down firmly. Now, don't push too hard on the wheel cap because you can get the wheel cap to kind of push in a little bit. And once you do that, it's kind of hard to get out. You can see it flex just a little bit. I don't want to go around like this, but I'm kind of just digging into these, this hole, going in and out. I'm just pushing the vinyl into that hole. Of course, if I wanted to take my wheel off and pop that wheel cap out, I could do that. But I figure that a lot of people won't want to do that. They don't have to. So I also have these other tools on our site, kind of meant to be used for small cracks. It seems like it'd be really easy to pop this wheel cap out, but tried a couple times. Don't want to damage the paint. This is my vehicle and I do like it. Maybe you've had a nice with a little hook on the end. Might work. Just basically work your way all the way around. If you feel like it's not sticking enough, heat it up a bit. Just FYI, for the backgrounds, the, the glossier colors are usually harder to work with. I am a huge fan of matte black. 3D carbon is usually easy to work with. kind of have it. Well, let me take this off so you can get a better look. So this is a gloss back black background with a matte black pony on top. There's tons of options you guys can get. I already showed you that other side, which is the opposite matte black background and then the gloss black pony.
So if you guys have any other requests, I know we're still processing a lot of them. Um, just leave them in the comment section below. This can already be found on our website. Something else we also did put on our website today are the two-door version of the door protectors. Um, what we did was we got a measurement from a, a person in the community. Ooh, wow, what's that? It's like Area 51 colored. It was stuffed up in there. Anyways, we did get a measurement for the, the two-door model, and we made these just a little bit longer for that model. So those can be found on our website. A lot of people are getting their two-door Broncos, and we're happy for you. Like the channel, subscribe, and also hit that bell uh, for notifications of when we come out with new products and new videos. Thanks a lot, guys, for your support, and probably see you tomorrow.